Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 28 of my Skybase playthrough and make myself block placer. So I think I'm done with this up here for now. And one of the reasons I say that is because I'm too lazy to make another one right now. Uh, collector crystals. Actually, you're an attuned one anyway. So. Okay, understanding it is not yet revealed. So I'm guessing to make them, I have to go up another tier of altar. Yeah, not really feeling like that right now. Uh, here, let's go ahead and give me some of this as well. Uh, linking tool, please. Made another one because I lost my first one and then found it. All right, so I'm going to try and get uh, automatic mana set up here. And let's see. Mm, that'll probably work, right? I just needed something to place against. Uh, let's say a sink, maybe. What's this for? Oh, heat sink. So yeah, that's right. Um, bucket, please. And I did upgrade my blood altar quite a bit between episodes. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that real quick here. Quite a bit. So, tier 4 altar, I've got 5 speed runes here. And then, runes of sacrifice. So I get more LP whenever I kill something. And then I've got a lot of runes of capacity on this thing now. And more runes of sacrifice here. So, it was like 5... Uh, sac or 5 speed, 10 sacrifice, and then 19 runes of capacity. So. Uh, thank god block damage is turned off over there. That would have been a mess so many times over if it hadn't been, because skeletons like to shoot creepers. Alright, and... Pipe. That should work for now. So... I think I can go there. Pipe. Figurator. I think I can reach that from here. Right. Extract mode on. Very good. Or a cloche. Here. And we're going to have this thing growing pumpkins for us. So I should probably get some dirt to pumpkin seed then, right? It might help. Uh, let's see. Dirt. Got a decent amount of that. And then pumpkin seed. Or really knows what that's going to be hiding out in here. Did I not get helmets on that exporter? Might not have. Uh, pumpkin seed. Yep, no. I didn't have any golden helmets at the time, so. I can go back into there, like so. Alright, cool. And I've got my helmet off right now because it's got a magnet on it, and I was just doing some Batania stuff. I had a piece of dirt on me already. There we go. So we're going to start growing pumpkins here as soon as I give this thing power, which I can do like so. Just regular flux point set up here. There it goes. Full power. Wonderful. At full speed, this thing uses 24 forge energy per tick. And now block placer. Industrial four going block placer too. There is the cyclic one, but... Alright, yeah, you didn't place... Oh, no, you decided you want to place up. Okay, well, I, I, I can work with that, right? So, let's go ahead and do that. Come here, you. And... Hey, I already had a pumpkin in there. Awesome. So then, if I place it from up here, it'll place the opposite direction, right? That should be facing down. It looks like it is. There you go. Got his timer running. I just need to give this thing some power now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, eh, basic universals will work. So then we'll just run power from the point there. Places block. Awesome. 
can't be beat. Now, let go ahead and give me that. We're going to put this guy, honestly, how about just right on top of this? Like so. Linking tool. Thank you to that. Oh, I made myself a Terrorblade off camera as well. And we have a cake now. Yes, collector crystals will transform pumpkins into cake. This thing will eventually back stuff and then it'll stop. It'll only run when it needs to after a while, which is okay. And I need to make a Kekamuras. This guy right here. So I need pixie dust, which is mana pearl. <clears throat> two white, two orange, two brown, and a gluttony. So just grab a bunch of those since I don't have any mana pearls. Um, gluttony, right? That's gonna be okay, I've got four of those, so that'll work. So that'll mean eight white petals. I need orange. And we'll just uh, we'll grab one of those plants for now, and then brown. And we'll do the same here. Now, can I get some shears? I've got some mana steel ones. Perfect. Uh, I can put the linking tool away now, actually. And then I need some bone meal. Also, whose head is that? Dinner bone. Looks familiar, so. Mm. Eight gold nuggets, yeah, you get one nugget per piece of equipment you break down that way, which is not great. But at least it's not overly cheaty like the uncrafting uh, grinder. That thing. All right, and then these are going to need to go, the pearls need to go here. And you take half of those. Uh, half of those can go into there. There's my four pixie dust. I never did put my petal of hot they carry back down, did I? Oh, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, here, I'll tell you what, give me this bucket and petal of hot carry. And yeah, I don't need the cables or the pipes anymore. Those four mana pearls can go away. And it's looking like that dirt and the the sigil magician blood orb. Don't need the bow for now. Diviner. That's something else I'm going to be working on here soon, but not quite yet. And now I really don't have any water around here, which is almost a bit of a shame. But I do have a sink right there I can just scoop water out of. All right, so most of the way done now. Orange, let's go ahead and get our brown one. And one, two, one, two. Bone meal. Shear those off to get the tall versions, and you get four petals per tall plant. But you do have to use shears. So now I have eight of everything I need. And yeah, I think I should be able to reach that from here. All right, so one, 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 two, one, two, one, two. And I just need some seeds. Whoops. And regular wheat seeds should work. Pretty much I think any vanilla seed works when you get down to it, but I might as well use vanilla ones. I've got a lot of them and I have them coming in currently. And then we're just going to do like that. Now what I can do is grab a bucket of water, drop it back here, right click with an empty hand, see. Oops, missed. Missed the, uh, the throw. Let's see, you, and then you. There we go, awesome. We are done with that for now, so I can cover this back up. Have a slice of cake, because why not? Now, I want to make these, I think, into floating versions. So I'm going to need floating plants, which... There we go. Glimmering, any color flower, aster seeds, and dirt. Aster seeds are easy. I just need some tall grass. Four of those, gonna need some dirt. 
And can I make, like, say, hoppies, right? Can I make you into glimmering? I like to think that I can, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, any glowstone, which would be here. Nope. Okay. I tried. All right, I need four flowers then. And tell you what. Four. There we go. And I need to turn the grass into pasture seeds, which you do just by just by uh, dunking it into mana. But in this case, without this guy underneath. Because if you drop this into mana with an alchemy catalyst, it'll turn into ferns. Without it, it turns into pasture seeds. There we go. Done. Bring you back in there so I don't, you know, lose it somewhere and forget it's not there. And now I just need a crafting table. I remember this one I never use anymore. All right, cool. Floating pink flowers. Now at this point, little flowers that float there and they actually produce light because they're made with glimmering flowers, which is kind of handy. So now I can combine those together to make floating kekamuras. Go away. Mm, I think there's still one left. Terra Blade makes Phantom, you know, control so much easier. It really does. All right, so we're going to go get Kimura's like that. And I believe... Oh, not there. I believe you will still hook up to that spreader from here. Yep, you do. There we go. Put that down. Crystal will turn that into cake. And then when the Kekamurses need mana, they will eat slices of cake. Just like so. And that translates into, oh, a good amount of mana here. Mana spreader is actually full right now, so I should probably upgrade that. And I'm going to need some, what, Dreamwood I think it's called? Do I actually have any of that? I need to make an elven mana splitter, or a uh, mana... That's what her spreader. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, so can I get some living wood then? Uh, yeah, give me half a stack. And drop that into the portal. We get back this stuff in return. I should enchant my sword, actually. Eh, let's do that real quick. Uh, I upgraded my enchantment table with pearlescent end shelves, which are actually really cheap for me right now, so figured why not. And then that'll boost my max level up to 80. Capturing, huh? Sure, why not? I'll try it. Might 7, capturing 4, fire aspect 3. Uh, capturing, I believe, is the one that lets you occasionally get spawn eggs when you kill an enemy with it. Or kill a mob in general. Kind of handy. And I figure the higher level of capturing, you know, better. So, that's working great, but yeah, I do need to uh, upgrade that spreader. I can now take this dream wood that I got. Like so. Elven mana spreader. Oh, that was a quest. Oh. Didn't even realize. And we're going to do like that. Pop you down. Link you to there. And they auto linked up because it's in the exact same spot. So. Wonder, will I set these things on fire now? Mm, doesn't look like it. All 
Alright, well. Definitely getting phantom membranes, which is nice. Uh, bone meal can go away now, and so can that old spreader. We're done with that for now. now I could make another elven mana spreader here, and it would make anything I do on the runic altar go faster, I believe, though. So. That thing is still full of mana. Oh, by the way, the, the Terrorblade can actually hit Enderman with a projectile. One of the few projectile weapons that actually work on Enderman. Yeah, nice. And this thing actually is running just about perfect speed for four Kakamuras, honestly. Um, I did put that bone meal away, so... Oh, well. Yeah. Ah. Bet you on fire, you jerk. Awesome. Now, I did enchant this armor. I should have held off until hmm, now when I could throw level 80 enchants on it, but oh well. Not a huge worry. I am. And you can snipe from a pretty good distance with this thing. I mean, it just goes. Definitely a Terraria reference here, too. Alright, um, so I'm going to put this crystal sword here away. Works pretty good, but I don't really need it. And then I kept, or I, uh, I got this as a loot drop. Capturing 4, Life Mending 1, Life Leech 4, Disarming 5, Scavenger 1, Ender 5. And it was a mythic sword already, so it's unbreaking, or uh, unbreakable. So not bad. Are there any more phantoms? It doesn't look like it. Okay. So the Ritual Diviner. We went ahead and made the basic one last episode, which was the four inscriptions. I don't know how well the capturing is going to be working on the uh, the Terror Blade with the projectile, but oh well. And then there's the so the Ritual Diviner. I needed two Demonic Slates and the Inscription Tool Dusk. So go ahead and give me another Smooth Stone here. Come over to here. Stay down to about this level. And we've got a Demonic Slate sitting here. So let's go ahead and toss another one in there. And go in there. Do a bunch of this and I'll see. Oh, that didn't work out quite so well. I did it. But I'll see uh, what spawn eggs I end up with in my system now. Go away, Jolkus. And there's all that wonderful stuff. I uh, probably should be using the sack dag up there too. Or the uh, sacrificial knife, I think it is, right? Dagger of sacrifice. Oh no, I just sacrificed Elpec and CPW. Oh, there went legs. Dark hacks and that and. Oh, it's already a demonic slate too. So, okay, let's go ahead and refill this real quick. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Here. Hey. Thank you. All right. I don't know why I just felt like blowing everybody up. All right, so it's now morning. Should be no more phantoms. I can take these two slates. Do that. And that can go in there too. <laughs> I just realized I put my really good bow in here and it's gone now. <laughs> oh well, I only needed it to kill the dragon and I don't think I need to kill it anymore, so. If I do, then I'll just make a new level 80 enchanted bow. 
All right, so uh, blank runes here. Um, ritual stones, please. I made a bunch of these off camera as well. They're not terrible. They require the reinforced slates, which is the tier, tier two slate, like 3,000 LP a piece. And then you can use those to make the master stone. I have right here. So let's go ahead and hold this thing. Journey to the Nether, no. Full Spring, Green Grove, Shepherd. It's really useful, but not what I'm going for. Harvest Moon, Ellipsoid, Well of Suffering. That's the one I want. And then down here, I've got a little thing. I put an upper here. And I was putting eight smooth stone at a time in there because this thing can actually, uh, I think it holds 48,000 when full. Which was enough to do actually nine steel casings from mechanism at one go. I can't remember the exact height of this thing though. This ritual. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to do one more there. And pop this here. Where is this cobble? And then we're going to take this wonderful ritual diviner. Hey, look at that. Um, I could probably go up like two blocks actually. So one, two, three. Let's put it like right here and make sure I don't lose this thing. Do that, hold that there and yep, that's where we needed to be. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Take this thing and stand in a spot where there's not going to be any, any stones showing up. And just hold right click and it will auto place the correct stones for you. All right, so we have that taken care of now. Whoop. There is our fully formed uh, Ritual of the Well of Suffering. Now, one slight issue I just thought of. Uh, orb. I put my Magician Orb away. Now, the last one is the Master Blood Orb, which is Tier 4, but it's another weak Blood Shard. I don't have right now. One thing I can't remember is how much LP the Well of Suffering needs to fire up. It takes LP to run, but it generates LP at the same time based on the number of mobs in the area around it. And it deals a little bit of damage to those mobs when it happens. Thing. Oh, it's basically staying full, so. Alright, uh, where's my divination? Vigil, right here. I can put the ritual diviner away. 33,500 LP. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. I need an activation crystal. I need the weak one, probably. Hopefully it's not the awakened. Okay, the uh, awakened doesn't have a recipe. Weak one is a lava crystal in a tier three. Lava crystal is not a problem. I just need three buckets of lava. I have that. Okay. Boom. And give me an orb here. There we go. Go ahead and take that back out. I don't want those going into the actual system. And Bring that out now. We'll toss that in there. Yeah, it's got the LP in there. How much am I adding here now? 62,000. I think it might be somewhere in the neighborhood of 90,000 to do it. Yep, there's my activation crystal. Awesome. Uh, where did my uh, sanguine... There it is. Sanguine Scientium. Uh, rituals. The rituals. All the suffering. Here's what it does. Tier one, which has no runes. Okay. No, I didn't want the blood altar. All the suffering. Thank you. Use the ritual diviner dusk for easier construction. 
Full runes, 36. Range, horizontal radius, 10. Vertical radius, 15. Mobs will drop items. Okay. Doesn't say how much it takes to, uh, to fire it up, though. That's what I was curious about. Oh, well, we'll put that there, and that can go ahead and drain that out. Uh, let's see, 72,000. Give it a try. So, weak activation crystal. And then, rush of energy flows through the ritual. And you can see all these mobs taking damage now. There we go. And as they take damage, LP flows into the blood altar. And right now it's actually charging up a magician blood orb, which is feeding LP into the uh, the ritual. So as soon as that orb is full, then I'm going to start backlogging pretty much on uh, on LP. And it'll keep running as long as there's mobs going into there, which, hey, look, they are for the most part, except for freaking spiders, I swear. Oh, hey, got a kill quest. Kill 100 spiders. Nice. There we go. Now I don't have spiders blocking mobs from going in or taking up slots of the mob cap, so uh, I should probably go ahead and grab those items, though. All right. So, well, we got infinite mana. As long as this thing runs, we're good. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll get some bone meal and toss in there. Probably wouldn't be, a, like, a horrible idea. Also, got a lot of, like, axes and stuff showing up, don't I? So on cloches, there is an, an inventory slot for fertilizer. This one right here. So go ahead and drop that in there. You see fertilizer amount zero out of one, or, well, one zero now. Growth modifier 1.0. Because it currently had no fertilizer, but it's running through that cycle of no fertilizer first before you can pull from here. Just how the machine works, honestly. It only pulls fertilizer once per cycle. There's our pumpkin. And pumpkin turns into cake. Cake gets eaten by plants. Plants generate mana. Fill up the mana pool. Fertilizer amount zero. There we go. Fertilizer amount one zero. Growth modifier 1.25. And that bone meal actually lasts a good amount of time. So. And our wonderful little mana pool here is uh, it's getting to be pretty full of mana at this point. That might honestly do it for now, actually. Uh, these are pretty good. These really only use mana whenever you do a transformation. So not a huge deal there. And yep, there goes that again. So once this backs up or backfills or fills up, this will back stuff and then the plants will and then it'll stop. And then this thing, I mean, granted it's got you know, 18 inventory slots. And this one's got four, so we're gonna have 22 stacks of pumpkins whenever this entire system shuts down. But as soon as I start using mana again, plants will empty out, they'll eat another piece of cake, and then everything you know starts moving again. It's kind of a really nice self-regulating system. I am putting that in a box. Extra ritual stones. Iron that I guess I got from a zombie. Our LP is now at 150,000, which is maxed for that setup over there. So then our altar is going to fill up and everything's going to be great. And the ritual will keep running even if the altar is full. Yeah, that's good. Drop that in there. 
because the ritual itself running does take a little bit of LP. So, I mean, it, it will constantly keep itself topped off. Now what I could do is make another blood altar. Like, have it over here or whatever. I can then put some teleposition runes around this thing, which will help me move LP from here to another blood altar via pipes. You can do it now, but it's incredibly slow. It's not recommended without the runes. And yeah, auto crafting is like pretty much nothing. So look at our quest book here. Uh, monsters. Build nine blaze. 51 creepers. 51 endermen. One shulker. <laughs> Kill 40 withers. I think not. Alright. So. 100 witches. Kill 100 bees. Nah, there's no point doing this grind because there's no quests. I'm not going to. Uh, next up, though, we'll probably be getting into some mechanism stuff. I did make a bunch of steel casings, and I do have that. Um, I've got my builder in that in the uh, mining dimension still. I will be setting up something that I can use to auto process everything that that thing produces, but just not quite yet. For one thing, I'm going to need better ways to move power around. Since apparently I can't move power between dimensions with uh, flux networks. But I do have quantum entangle porters, which can also do items, so. Where the hell did you come from? You're... Okay, that was unexpected. There shouldn't be anywhere around here dark enough to spawn a spider. Yeah, that was weird. But hey, and our altar is, well, effectively full. Holds 48 buckets, and it's like cycling between 47.9 and 48 buckets, so. I'm I'm quite happy with that. Also, I could put more runes of capacity under there to increase it yet again, and so and so forth. But I don't really see much of a uh, reason for that right now. And how are we doing here? Ah, uh, forty-seven more honeycomb blocks. And phantom farming for days. Surprised that wasn't a quest, honestly. Because that one I might already have done, you know, have done already at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series. And until next episode, sign signing out. Have fun.